So what we're gonna be talking about today is just thinking about how can I stabilize my life and how can I do it in a way that I can think of cognitively so I don't make the same mistake that the majority of people make. So if you guys are real estate agents, loan officers, insurance brokers, solar agents, network marketers, anybody that makes 1099 money. And frankly, if you make W2 income, you guys are still gonna be able to use the same tips and tricks. It's just easier for you. The challenge is for these people here. And the first question I ask you, as a 1099 contractor, if you're selling insurance, real estate agent, loan officer, solar, is your income predictable? The answer is probably no. It goes up and down, cycles of the market, tightening cycles, timing, all this sort of stuff. And because of that, it can make life difficult on you and you know it. It's not always predictable, but your spending can be. Did you know you can budget your way to know exactly what you're going to spend? And you can set in those constraints. And you say, well, Patrick, what about inflation? Well, you got to adjust for these sort of things and compensate in a way that makes sense. And that's what we're going to talk about today. The lifestyle inflation is really what I want to talk about today. Lifestyle inflation. I mean, when I say it's killing, that's probably a light word. It's killing your progress. And there are so many guys right now that I know coming into 2024 that crushed it in 21, crushed it in 22. And now they're, I mean, they're panicking. They're selling stuff. They're getting rid of stuff. They're not as loud on social media. It's because all of it is going away. Why? Because they were spending money at the time that they really didn't have. It was new to them. This is a chart. And this chart, I'm going to do a, a W-2 after, but 1099, generally speaking, your income should be doing what over time? It should be going up. So I want you to imagine that you're a good 1099 earner. And we have ebbs and flows, right? Slowly but surely, your income goes up. And I just want to pretend that this is, you know, $2,000, this is $5,000, this is $10,000, this is $20,000, let's just say that. And this is over the span of 2020, 21, 22, 23, what have you, okay? Hopefully this makes some sense. Now, here is what lifestyle inflation looks like. What was the direction of your income? It was up, slowly but surely. We had these dips, but it was going up. This is lifestyle inflation as we know it. Your expenses might have started around two grand a month. You might have been basically break even. But as your income went up, so did your expenses. Look what happened. Time and time again, you can see in these yellow highlighted zones, these are times where your expenses have exceeded your income. Why? Because as you've made more money, Suddenly, you spend a little bit more. You see the guys on social media always eating at Mastro's, so you go to Mastro's. You see the guys staying at the W Hotel in Miami, so you stay at the W Hotel in Miami. You see the guys driving that BMW, so you go and lease that BMW. You start to chase, and your income, as it goes up, your expenses go up. The trouble is, what if this happens? That's happened to a lot of people. The Federal Reserve has raised rates in 2023 more aggressively than any other time in history. Mortgage officers, insurance, real estate, solar, you name it. All of these people are, are, are in a more difficult situation. It's harder to sell their product. They're making less money because they're selling less and they're making less. And suddenly you're stuck in a bind where you got to get rid of a bunch of expenses. This is what lifestyle inflation is all about. And look, I'm not saying that you can't spend a little more as you make more. I'm saying you got to do it in a smart way. Somebody could say, I'm a hypocrite. Well, Patrick, I, I see the car that you've got. I see some of that that you've got. I see this that you've got. Everything that I've gotten was after I had invested in something that was appreciating in value. Whether it's real estate, whether it's stocks, whether it's crypto, whether it's commodities, whether it's a business, I have invested my way so that even if my income completely drops, which just like you guys, I'm a human too. And guess what? My income does the same thing as all y'all. And just as it does that, my expenses are not skyrocketing because guess what my income is being supplemented by? 
other investments. One of the things that I think is going to be interesting to some of you guys, 2024 will be the first year that I, without a doubt, will clear six figures on money appreciating in value. What does that mean? My money invested will make me over $100,000 in 2024. That is without working one second. That means 2024, technically, I could say, screw my video guy, screw all my business partners, screw all of you. I'm going to stay home and play video games for the entire year and I will still clear six figures. Think about that for a minute. Now, I'm not bragging. I'm saying that because I've only been at this 10 years. You guys need to think, how can I get to that point? How can I get to the point where, wow, my investments take care of insurance, car, mortgage, you name it. Guys, my mortgage is under two grand a month. Come on now. Life is good when you don't do this. So let me show you what I think you should do. Your income starts to go up. Your personal expenses are more like that. Now listen, I'm being nice. You see what it's doing? What direction is the expense going? It's up, slowly. Do you notice the separation? You see that separation? Ooh, baby, that's called profit. That's free cash flow. And guess what you can do with this? Guess what I chose to do with that separation early on? I chose to put that money into assets that make me money. And guess what happens, guys? It starts to snowball. Because now, I just shared with you that six-figure thing. Do you, think, do you think that's really what I'm going to do? Do you think I'm just going to stop? No. So then it's like, wait, I'm already making the income, then I'm gonna have all this extra, but then it's on top of the investment amount. Now I've got all this extra cash, and then I do it again. And then a few years later, guess what? Now it's like, guys, I just had my first half a million dollar year on money making me money. Guys, I'm at, you see where I'm going with this? By the time I'm 45, this snowball kept accruing, and guess what, it takes it up here. You gotta see it to believe it. And I have to be cognizant and aware that I'm gonna have to Extend the gratification away from me on that dream house with the backyard, with the pool and all that sort of stuff. Because yes, hundreds of thousands of dollars could get me any of that in Arizona, for sure. As a down payment on a house, get a mortgage, a few grand a month, life's good, good stuff. Or invest in more things that'll do it again, that'll do it again. And eventually I've invested in so much stuff that cash flow every year, every month, every day is replacing income and I'm in a better spot. So this is where I want you guys to be. This is where budgeting comes. You guys need to know, I need to spend, you know, three grand a month, max, or whatever the number is, 3K on my expenses. And at this time, maybe it's 3,500, and it's 4,000. I added, in this case, $1,000 in expenses in three years. Now you can, you know, have that stake a little bit more travel a little bit more, maybe get the nicer car. I don't know what it is, something that you want. The point is, I'm not saying don't celebrate, don't have success, moderate it, and don't get caught up. Guys, there's so many guys that look so rich, and they're broke, bro. I'm telling you, so many on the internet are flat broke. There are guys that I know right now that owe people hundreds of thousands of dollars, yet they're still eating out every weekend yet they're still driving the nice cars. You have to understand that there's people out there that are backed up on taxes for seven years. There's people out there that owe hundreds of grand in loans. There's people out there that are uh, completely upside down on their credit cards. And you're over here beating yourself up because you feel like they're way ahead of you? Listen, you might be making, you might be profiting $100 a month, meaning your income's $100 more than your expenses. You're doing better than them. Who gives a shit what you're driving? Who cares what house you're in? Who cares what you're renting? You're doing better than them because you're not over leveraging that lifestyle. I want you guys to keep focused on that path. So with that said, with a W-2, it is frankly the same. W-2 is not going to be, it's not going to have the ebbs and flows as much. You know, what do they say about W-2? We should keep up with the rate of inflation. Most people's hasn't, but we should keep up with the rate of inflation. Plus 2%, plus 2%, plus 2%. You see that? Go up and up and up and up. The point is, 
my expenses should not again. But Patrick, how do I enjoy my life? If you're not picking up, let me do it one more time. This is your gravy and green. By the way, in that budget right here, I'm not saying that there can't be a $500 date night budget for you and the honey. I'm not saying there can't be a travel budget. I'm saying build everything into your budget. And then look at this gravy here. You see this? When it's here, it might be 100 bucks. When it's here, it might be 3,000 bucks. The point is you start to make way more money than you're spending. And guess what? Now you've invested one more time into an asset that's supposed to be a house, into a Bitcoin, into a stock, whatever it is. And guess what happens at this point? Eventually it spits out more and your income goes like that. And now there's even more gravy. That's called compound interest. You need to focus on doing this early on because these habits here, Ed Milet said it best. He said, if you can't, if you can't afford to live off five grand a month, what makes you think you're gonna be able to afford to live off 50 grand a month? If you can't handle five grand a month, why can you handle 10 grand a month? Your expenses are just gonna go up. You have to learn to control it. You have to learn to not go and get all uh, lackadaisical, lazy with your decision making when you run into Barnes and Noble, that store, Target, Costco. I get it, it's hard because all that stuff looks good. So with that all being said, I hope you guys understand lifestyle inflation in 2024, 2025, 2026. Stability should be your goal. I can tell you right now that I know a lot of people that simply do not have the level of happiness that I have because financial stability is out the window. They need that next check to literally survive. Imagine being in a situation where that happens. Sucks. So your mind's always racing. How can I get the next check? How can I get the next amount of money? What happens if this happens? What happens if that happens? All that goes through your head. Some of you guys are sitting there right now going through that. Other people are like, look, it could all be cut off today. And I got enough in the reserves. Investments are cooking. Those will pay out. And I can, that buys me enough time to go get going on the next thing. That's stability. Right there, I believe that that calms you down, blood pressure down, stress down, anxiety down. Now you can perform better. Now you don't feel like, dude, uh, uh, can, can you buy my product? That's from a place of, I'm in trouble, I need this, versus, oh, you don't need it? All good, see ya. And then they're like, wait a minute, he didn't really care? That's a different thing. I, people, some people know me, when I sell, I don't sell. I'm like, oh, you don't want it? Okay, have a good day. And they're like, wait a minute, wait, you're not gonna try to upsell me or give me a discount? No, if you don't want it, you don't see the value in me, you don't see the value in my product, you don't see the value in my company, whatever it is, peace, all good. Move on to the next one because of that stability. You guys need to desire this in your life. So many people right now need this in their life. The markets are shaky right now. And those with the cash to take advantage win. And listen, you're not always gonna make the cash by going and increasing your income. Sometimes it's by chilling out on the spending, chilling out on the extravagant vacations chilling out on the travel, chilling out on all these sort of things. People understand. And it's so much easier to tell people you're broke than rich. Because the moment you tell people you're broke, they all just shut up and they run away from you. Just tell everybody you're broke. Don't tell a bunch of people how wealthy you are, how good you are. I'm doing all this because it's an educational moment. Don't you go do this. Don't go teach this. Don't say, look at me, look at me. Because guess what? Then they come out of the woodworks. They want, they want, they want, they take, they take, they take. You need to go, to, I'm broke. They don't ask. And then you can save. Then it's all gravy and you got to start growing that. So up next in the next video, guys, we're going to talk about the last and most important topic, which is organization in your finances. I do not want you to miss this video. So come back to the channel, go check it out. If it's already on the channel, go watch it guys. As always, click like if you're getting value out of these videos and of course, subscribe and we'll see you on the next video.